right now um, there is an idea in the aging field to rejuvenate people by leveraging this fundamental insight that right. you call it's called reprogramming you can take an old cell you administer certain factors as you mentioned four factors or three factors or other um, variants you know and by doing by administering this cocktail of factors for just a few days not too long because if you administer it for too long um, you um, greatly increase the risk of cancer you know and because the the cells lose their identity the skin cell forgets that it's a skin cell it thinks it's a stem cell you know but if you do it briefly for let's say five days you get the benefit of rejuvenation you may have rejuvenated the cell by five years or ten years you know but it still remembers uh, its identity you know and so, so does the yeah. epigenome reset a little bit like it only yes yes so there are a couple of groups that um, are working on it and o have already shown that That's effect you know yes uh, so i really analyzed um fibroblasts and endothelial cells from um from such an intervention uh, it's called sometimes interrupted reprogramming or transient reprogramming you know and um and, and sure enough, you know, that, um, that idea worked. It reset the age, but the cells um, still remembered their identity and th therefore arguably um, will not um, become malignant. You know. In the past, people were wondering, you know, are there interventions that actually reset the epigenetic clock? And, so, and, and the number one proof of principle study is really the administration of these Yamanaka factors because it completely resets the age, actually to a prenatal stage, you know. And the epigenetic clock is an, the ideal biomarker for that kind of a study, in my opinion, because, um, as I said, the it very much tracks, you know, the um, the state of the cell, you know. And um, but we will see, you know. Hopefully, in five or ten years, it turns out that this strategy is, uh, turns into a viable. Um, anti-aging intervention that can be used in the clinic you know right. but at this point these are all proof of concept studies that have been done in the dish or in mouse studies you know mm.